Today, guys, we're working with some adorable puppies that have been removed by the police for unfortunate illegal puppy mills. But we're gonna be setting them up for their dream lives, giving them the best chance possible. And in today's video, I wanna talk about the three things that you should be thinking about doing with your puppy as well. Now, the first thing that you need to make sure that you are providing with your puppy from day one is amazing socialization. Now, when I'm working with rescue dogs as part of my sanctuary project, especially dogs like this that have been removed from illegal puppy mills we really have to take it back a step and this is the first time that these little guys have even experienced grass so I'm getting down with them and I'm making sure that it's a really fun and positive experience and we're building up resilience to new things new stimuli and you need to make sure that you're doing that with your puppies as well whether that's new people new sights new sounds new environments different weathers different noises oh yes Oh yes, you're so clever puppies. You're so brave, you're such brave puppies. And when they're responding like this, playfully, happily, we're rewarding it and we're making it a fun experience so that they understand that first and foremost, I'm going to help navigate them through these new wonderful experiences and all they have to do is look up to me for guidance and direction and everything's going to be okay. Yes, it is. But also if they do find themselves in difficult situations in the future that you can't plan for, well then it's okay. Now the next point that I want to talk about with you guys for your puppies is making sure that you start your toilet training from day one. Again, when I'm here, part of my sanctuary program, working for free, volunteering at rescue centres, a lot of these puppies have had poor starts to life. And one of the downsides, or at least one of the struggles that you may face with a rescue puppy, is that toilet training might not have got off to a great start but it doesn't mean that you can't have huge amounts of success. And it shouldn't mean that you have lower expectations for them. Take your puppy out on the hour, every hour, to where you want them to go to the toilet. I'm watching these guys carefully because as soon as they go to the toilet on grass, I've got a pocket full of treats and tons of praise and positive reinforcement, and I'm gonna let them know, great job if you go out to the toilet out here. Now, when these guys do get rehomed, the owners can start implementing things like crate training, taking them out on the hour every hour, watching for signs that they might be having a talk, going needing a toilet, and giving them plenty of opportunity to succeed. When they do succeed, praise it. If they fail, we don't punish toilet training accidents. We accept that we made a mistake and that we didn't give them enough chances to go outside and go to the toilet. If you're disciplined, if you make sure you stick to a good consistent schedule, your puppies will absolutely be able to be impeccably toilet trained in no time. What are you doing, happy pooch? What are you doing? Now guys, when it comes to training your puppies, when it comes to doing any kind of obedience work, it all starts with engagement. Now again, puppies that have had great starts to life, good breeders will do a lot of this engagement work for you. But what I'm doing is I'm starting the principle of these puppies understanding to first of all <laughs> follow a law, and what I'm starting to do is building up eye contact and I'm luring it, I've got a treat in my hand, I'm certainly cheating, but when I get that eye contact, even if they're clambering up me, yeah, then they get access to the treats. And again, this is the very, very first time these puppies have ever had this kind of handling, this kind of attention, and certainly the first time they've ever done any form of obedience, but I'm building engagement, I'm building the idea that you can follow a law, and this is all gonna be the building blocks to allow us to teach anything. Now we could even attempt this puppy's first sit by luring over the head, sit, yes, good. And it's right there, building that engagement, building the idea of following this law. Do you wanna have a go? Follow over the head. Sit, yeah, good puppy, oh good puppy, <laughs> yes. And we build up these reps, and puppies are smart as these little guys. Within a session or two, we'll be able to start building that rock solid sit. When we build that rock solid sit, we can really start to bring that attention up to us. And when we build those things, everything else then becomes easy. Isn't that right, little guys? You are gonna make somebody an amazing dog and we're gonna make sure that you find amazing homes. So thank you so much, guys. Thank you for being a part of my journey of being able to launch my charity at the Sanctuary where I volunteer all of my time to dogs like this. And that's all down to you. I appreciate it so much. If you wanna learn everything that you could ever dream about learning to ensure that you have a perfect canine companion, that's exactly what this channel's for. So don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button. I can't wait to see you on the next episode. 
and hopefully you'll see some more of these guys before they find their forever home. <laughs>